Now, you might have just got back from an incredible summer holiday, but I bet you probably didn't travel as long or as far as our next guest. No, for almost mm -hmm. 10 years, Thor Pedersen has been travelling around the world with one goal, to visit every country on Earth without ever stepping foot on a plane. And on the 26th of July this year, Thor finally completed that goal after visiting his 203rd country. And he joins us now to tell us about his incredible adventure. It really is something of dreams. You know, like, a lot, oh, a lot wow. of people have a bucket list in life to be able to travel the world and yep. explore the world. But this is a real... This is a real Real unique way of yeah. doing so, isn't it? Yeah, I'd, I'd say, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you've done it. You have done it. You've been to every country in the world. Of every country in the world in one unbroken journey, completely without flying. It's. It, I yeah. mean, it's just, just incredible. We must say that you did take a flight from Denmark to join us today <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. in the studio. <laughs> uh, that must have felt completely alien, right? It did. I mean, I think they say that if you want to incorporate something new in your life, you repeat it 30 days in a row. Yes. yes. And this went on for almost 3,600 days. So it's a part of who yeah. I am today. I feel it feels so wrong to get on a plane. Yeah. I felt like you were cheating. Yeah. yeah. I bet you've not missed an airport, have <laughs> yeah. you? No. <laughs> Particularly exactly. at the minute. Yeah, I was going to say, right now. Yeah. Um, so what made you want to do this? Uh, I, I grew up in a world where I felt everything had been done. There was nothing left for the rest of us. I was intrigued by the first to go to the North Pole, the South Pole, the highest mountain, the deepest sea, the dark forest following the longest rivers and so on and so forth. And I grew up finding out this was all done 100 years ago. There's nothing left for us. And I found out no one had gone to every country in the world completely without flying. Sat there right in front of me. I just couldn't leave it. It's just so... It's, yeah. I love that, because a lot of people have these ideas, yeah. but actually putting that into practice yeah, precisely, yeah. Is, is a completely different story. How much of a plan did you set out with? Oh, plenty. Uh, I spent <laughs> about ten months putting it together. The first four or five months just daydreaming, playing with... I didn't think I was going to do it initially. I was 34 years old, oh, and wow. I figured I was too old for something like this. But then, over time, I got more and more involved, and suddenly I knew I was going to do it, and I put more focus into it and set a date and left home. So in the beginning, it wasn't too difficult when you started? The journey itself. Yeah, with the journey itself, yeah. No, no, I was going around in, in Europe yeah. and uh, open borders and uh, safe countries, and that was very easy. Then eventually I had to get on board container ships, I had to cross the North Atlantic in the winter time. Gosh. Eventually I got to some countries where they virtually don't want visitors, so it's really yeah. hard to get a visa, or island nations in the Pacific trying to secure transportation. Yeah. I, I literally, because I love travel. I know. So I'm kind of like, he's oh my beaming. gosh, he's been beaming. to every country in the world. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, what happens when you reach a year, like, you know, the year that we all didn't expect, yeah, exactly. and that was 2020? Yeah. You're set out on that this was a great year. Yeah. <laughs> You're set out on this mission. <laughs> and what happens to you? You're travelling the world without, yeah. and, you know, without yeah, yeah. a plane. So where are you at that point <laughs> yeah. when COVID hits? I was on board a ship in Micronesia. I was heading up to Hong Kong for four days of transit. I didn't even need to visit Hong Kong within this project. I counted that as a part of China. Yeah. I was trying to reach Palau, yeah. so it was pure transit. I'm on the ship for 12 days. I do not have any internet connectivity, so I don't know what's going on. When we get to Hong Kong, I'm on the bridge with the captain. He's wearing a face mask. He says, here's one for you, better put this on. There's been an outbreak in a place called Wuhan. I go like, where is that? Yeah. I go like, well, that's in China. And we look at the map and it's far away. And I figure that's never going to have anything to do with me. And then uh, slowly it starts spreading. And a couple of months later, it's declared a global pandemic and it's given a name and we start waiting for vaccines. And I ended up being in Hong Kong for two years. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you literally lived in a country that you were only meant to be transiting for four yeah, days. Four days went for to two, two years. years. Oh my and words. in that two years, what did you do? Well, first of all, that's what we call dedication. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, well done. The commitment yeah. is strong. I, I was certainly... <laughs> I was in nine countries away. You know, I'd yeah. been going oh, for gosh. six, seven years. I was almost there. And then this happened. Nine countries away. So what kind of person are you in life? Are you the kind of person who gives up? Or yeah. do you fight for the things you believe in? But, yeah, I made... Great friends in Hong Kong. I see Hong Kong as my second home today. Oh, amazing. I love the Hong Kong as a city, but it's 75% nature, mm -hmm. hiking, yeah. trail running, all sorts of stuff. It's honestly, it's just the story that like I'm so envious yeah. that you've got you have the guts to actually to do it and get on with that journey. Out of I know that you said that Hong Kong's like a second home, but obviously you've you've been to two well, countries. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
What would be your favourite place in the world? Oh, I would have to say England. Great. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, what else are you going to do? People are going to come and attack me for no, not saying England. No, 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 give us the that. honest answer. Yeah, yeah, but which, yeah. We all live here. We yeah, don't believe it's you. Fine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Give us the honest answer. Yeah, go on. Which number? I do like England. Okay. I really like England. I like the UK. Um, every country in the world, what are you going to pick? It's a little bit like music, you know, okay. some days you like to listen to this, so if you're in the yeah. mood for that, you listen to that. So but if you is. had to pick one for just, like, having a little place in your heart... Oh, uh, Denmark, I would say. That's my home nation. Yeah. Okay, you know, fair enough. Did you bring your passport? You must have your passport with you. Yeah, I do. I, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I just yeah. thought we should look... Because there'll be so oh many great stamps word. in your passport. Yes, well, I went through ten passports, so... Ten passports? Yeah, so this is the yeah. tenth passport with oh, right. stamps throughout. But, uh, yeah, I brought all my passports. They're here somewhere. Oh, yeah. amazing. Uh, they say the best stories are <laughs> when in, you bet in the, between yeah. the pages of a passport. Oh, right? yeah. amazing. Well, my passports do have some good stories. I bet they do. Yeah. Not, not they all do. the stamps came easy. More than anybody I else. I just wanted to... You, you know this already, but I just wanted to let you know. Thor, the journey was 3,576 days of travel. Right. 37 container ships, yeah. 158 trains, 351 buses, 219 taxis, 33 boats and 43 rickshaws. You crossed 223,000 miles. What do you do next? <laughs> Rest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Rest. Run a bath, have Feet a cup up. of tea yeah, exactly. and relax. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, I mean, so I think we're aware that when we send soldiers abroad, they come back home and the body comes home and it takes a little bit of time for the mind to come home. Some yeah. people don't really come home at all, so I need to work on that for some time. I have my wife and we want, yes. want to see yes. if we can start a family. I have friends, want to start a normal life. But in the big picture, I do speaking engagements, so trying to build up a life around that. Yeah. We have a documentary coming out next year, which is oh, going to brilliant. be really interesting. And I'm currently writing a book together with a good friend, so that will also be out in 2024. Oh, so not too much, then. Yeah, do you know, <laughs> yeah, keep yourself busy. Thor, <laughs> yeah. cool, thank you what so much for relaxing. coming in. Thank, thank you, you for so, having so me. It's been a pleasure. So lovely to meet you. Amazing, I'm so jealous.